We are Ben and MP, and we've been working hard on reviving a doomed wooden sailboat. In today's episode, there's some painting and varnishing happening, but the highlight goes to our flooring planks coming to life. We are finally making them, and spoiler alert, they look awesome. If you love purple hardwood, you'll definitely agree with me. So join us as we get into that, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, as there's so much more coming your way. Okay, we have two news. A good one and a bad one. Which one you wanna hear first? The bad one, right? So the bad one is now that the roof of our pilot house is finally ready to start receiving the fiberglass. It's been raining all night and it's gonna rain the whole week. So we cannot do that for now. We have to wait. And the good news is now that our neighbor is gone, the sheep rides that were working there are available. And we've been missing them so much and we bet you're missing them too because they've been so amazing to us and to Yaba, we have no words for them and now they're finally available again to come back to us and continue to help us out here because there's still a lot to do so we're going to start with the flooring of our house which I'm so excited about <laughs> We're busy bringing the planks over from under the boat where they've been stored for a very long time. They're quite dry now, we hope dry enough to cut. Uh, the first plan is to make them all completely identical, thickness wise, width wise and so on, so that later we can bring the boat and it's going to be a lot easier to quickly measure, cut and place and so on. We're going to use the planer here and all the tools here, but also we're going to slip them through that magical hole in the wall to the neighbours where there's a few more tools that we're going to borrow. Uh, to just make the work a lot quicker. Ladies and gents, with you, Mezu. Heading down, we've actually finished taping and papering the windows because Nico is now going to start painting the windows the same color as the roof. Which is Alaska white. Ooh. 
plans changed, don't they? We were planning on leaving this dress salad, which I believe it was the combing board, just varnished. But now we ended up deciding that we're gonna paint them with epoxy paint to protect them, at least here, which is a toilet that will be a wet room. It will be more protected if we have an epoxy layer on it and then paint. Maybe in the bedrooms we'll still leave them varnished, but in these wet areas we're gonna paint them and that's what we're gonna do now. It's a pretty miserable day yeah, today. The works inside the boat still continuing, which are the, the blocks that we're gonna place for the ballast and the painting. I have decided to change the U-shaped supports for just full blocks like this. They're a lot stronger. And I drill a big hole through the middle where I can fit the drill bit of the impact driver. But anyway, not much else can be done outside. So the flooring, is, have been, the flooring has been put on pause. And also, this boat behind me, Cezinho's uh, boat, is now going into the water. It's completely finished. And we're getting ready to lift up another schooner like us. It's one that had been lifted before, except now they're actually lifting it to raise the pilot house to look more like a caravel. Caravella, you know, the boats that used to travel across exploring. So that's what they're gonna turn that boat into, at least look like. But first, this one has to go to the water. And we're all continuing working inside. We cannot find words to tell you how excited we are for the upcoming Annapolis Boat Show and mainly for the opportunity of meeting so many of you in person. So we want to tell you exactly where and when to find us for a meet and greet. Make sure you screenshot this so you can find us at the right place and at the right moment because from Friday until Monday we will be hopping around from different places at different times. We really hope to see you there. If you're planning on coming to the boat show but still didn't get your tickets, we have a discount code for you. Using SEOYABA22, you'll get $5 off each ticket, so don't miss out on that. Also, while we are there in Annapolis, the International Cruises Awards will be taking place. And this guy here is participating in the Clip of the Year category, showing off his skills. If you think that Caillou Climbing Ladders deserves an award, please consider voting. We are leaving the link below so you can choose him for a win. This award will mean a lot to us in our channel, so thank you a million for participating. After voting, make sure to confirm it through your email, otherwise it doesn't count, so please don't skip that step. Okay, enough doggy talk. Shall we go back to floor planks? We pushed all these planks through the hole in the wall. We're next door at the welding company. They have a bunch of 
equipment here, woodworking equipment, if you haven't seen us making the previous floor planks or at least redoing the previous floor planks. They've all just been through the jointer just to make sure all the, well at least one edge is completely straight so that now when it goes over to the table saw we can cut the little seams into them which are going to be the white stripes and are going to make the flooring look really really nice. cutting all these in the little seam. Now they're testing it on a piece of wood that's not this. Now the plan is to have one of the white seams, it's probably not called a seam, but I'm gonna call it seam, on the edge. And then every five centimeters we'll have one more, which leaves exactly five centimeters without one. Which means the next white little seam will start on the next plank, and the little mens, the joints between the two planks, won't be as visible. So I think they're about to lift up the first plank to test it. They are. I'm going to start cutting and I'm so curious to see how this is going to go. I know they're going to cut all the seams on the edge of all the planks and then they're going to adjust the saw to cut each seam individually. tiny tiny bits of sawdust the collector underneath the saw has been full for a while so it's time to tidy up look how much we have now we can keep going
We're gonna go through one more time. This is one centimeter, five, one, five. And this isn't one yet, so hopefully one more pass on each of these. And we can start working on the little parts that will go inside it. The interior, roof and all, well, the laterals and the bulkheads and everything is already painted. It's got at least two layers on. All that's not painted now is the combing board and the roof beams, which is gonna be next. However, they're not gonna be painted. Over here, I have a PU, poly, well, polyurethane varnish, which is the one we've used on the rest of the boat. But Nico's gonna start varnishing the roof beams, which is gonna hopefully look amazing. So I'm gonna start preparing some of this now. I uh, don't know how many coats we'll put on the inside. I know on the outside we're going at least 10 layers. We'll start applying it and then I think we'll go by feels. I think it's be more like five coats, maybe six. And that might be overkill, but I'd rather have too much than not enough. And then hopefully that's gonna look amazing. And then we can start working on some finishing touches before the inner bulkheads come in and the furniture and the flooring. Thank you. 
with our floorings with all the little yellowish slats also sanded looking very very nice the next step will be to of course finish sanding these ones here and apply varnish and then cut in the shapes we need and then we have a flooring in the house but that will be in hold for now because we need all their stuff that have a priority on our list so yeah meet our flooring but for now that's all Thank you to everyone who has joined us for our 100th episode last week. It was very special and we're very happy about that. Now it's time to welcome our new patrons. Ceylon, Jeff, Lee Besser, Alan, Mick and Scott. And for donating through PayPal, thank you so much Bill, David and Brenda. And last but not least, our super thanks from Kionzo, John, Greg, Don, Rinad, Veteran Mike, Lou, Thomas, Tamakon and Bastard team. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Next week at the same time, the same place, we'll be waiting for you. So see you then.